hello guys so today we are going to discuss about your particularly what is insect ecology in the last two videos we have understood what is ecology and it's uh, some related terminologies articulogies in ecology like those things but today we'll start the what is your insect ecology okay so what is the definition the science of relationship of insect to their environment okay insect ecology means this is the science of study we will study the science of what the relationship of the insect to its environment environment in the sense it may be the physical components present in the environment or the biotic components present in the environment both we will study okay this is your insect ecology the science of relationships of insects to their environment is known as your insect ecology then we will study what is the importance of ecology in pest management okay now we will study the importance why ecology study is required in case of insect traditionally what happened everything was in a balance equilibrium but now what happened due to indiscriminate use of this pesticides fertilizers different uh, yielding varieties but though they are susceptible then this uh, use of or uh, adoption of your monoculture okay again so many other factor are there even you are going for deforestation that also contributes somewhat okay due to this kind of factor what happen now the pest population is increasing suppose some pest should be there in the forest land now they are coming to the cropping land because we are deforesting yes or no so due to all of these things what is happening now the pest population is increasing due to which what is happening the balance or the equilibrium of the nature is now totally disrupted okay and every year the pest population is increasing now we are undergoing monoculture so definitely the pest population is increasing we are applying insecticide so what is happening the organism which will kill the pest they are dying okay that's why every year the pest population is now increasing okay then this importance of ecology came some integrated concepts came to sustainably manage those insect which can only be possible by understanding the ecological aspect of that insect okay otherwise it will be impossible okay so now we will study step by step how we can use ecology for pest management so by understanding ecology what are the things we can understand first one is your understanding the pest problems first we have to think suppose this is the cropping system this is the crop and this is the pest what is the problem occurring due to the pest whether occurring or not we have to identify the pest we have to identify the symptom yes or no first step second one is your alternate ways of combating insect apart from use of insecticide how we can control the pest or manage the pest sometimes we can use trap crop border crop so many kind of cultural practices are there we will deal all those things in the ipm third point prediction of pest outbreaks that means here what will happen it's not like that only the insect will come and feed we will watch and we will understand no no pest came not like that sometimes what will happen suppose in case of some insect like yellow stem borer we can predict that this pest will come by observing they observing their oviposition style they will lay their eggs on the leaf tips so that we can predict that in future it will come prediction of the pest outbreak 
understood then fourth point is causes for population changes and the mechanism of natural control in ecology study what will happen we will totally study the insect that means in which season or in which climatic zone the pest population is less in which season the pest population is more if that is a condition then why due to presence of one organism whether the insect population is decreasing or increasing if increasing or decreasing then why so that what will happen we can understand the changes of the population of the pest and we can also understand if these things are occurring naturally then here we can understand what is the mechanism of natural control how how those pest populations are reducing you can understand from those things that is known as your what key mortality factor in a natural population it may be due to temperature humidity rainfall like abiotic factor or maybe due to presence of predator parasitoids some inter and intra specific competition biotic factor also may be there those are the key mortality factor in a natural population then instead of use of high dose of insecticide we can also understand what other techniques can be implemented to manage the pest without disturbing the balance of nature because we have to go for sustainable management we want sustainable agriculture yes or no then suppose this year we have taken the study of that particular insect totally we have understood the ecology of that insect when it is coming when it is uh, uh, dying when uh, the population is more when the population is less so what we can do in the future in the next year what we can do we can go for some what forecasting prediction future prediction that suppose in rainy season this pest is coming you adopt this technology so that in rainy season the population will be reduced understood this pest is coming in summer so what to do in the pre summer so that in summer the insect won't come timely we can in initiate the control measures by understanding some etl eil levels economic threshold economic injury level those things we will understand in the ipm then again if the pest population is very high or in some extent it is more then what suitable chemical should be applied so that pest will be reduced but it should not harm the natural enemies which indirectly kills the pest beneficial for us and it also should not hamper the pollinators or other beneficial insect and should not it should not be bio accumulated into the life cycle it should not be bio magnified it should not increase in concentration from trophic level to trophic level there should not be any kind of health hazards which can be achieved by some use of botanical insecticide now some again some new generation insecticide came which are species specific bio pesticide are there so we can implement all those things understood how we can utilize this study of ecology for pest management understood that is the importance of the ecology then here we will understand what is environment and its component basically it is a brief introduction for the next video next chapter so what is environment the term environment literally means surrounding whatever the thing surrounding us or it may be animal or it may be any other organism okay so environment is a complex of so many factor abiotic and biotic abiotic means light temperature soil water wind so many things are there which is surrounding the organism the biotic organism so some of the modern ecologist classified the environmental factor into four groups those are climatic factor topographic or physiographic factor edaphic factor and the biotic factor what is climatic factor all physical factors like light temperature rainfall humidity mm, then air and atmospheric gases all those things then come to topographic or physiographic factor what is that this is including your altitude latitude 
then uh, direction of the mountain range steepness and exposure of the slope all those things are coming under topographic all those topographic related components are coming under topographic or physiographic factor somewhat geographical yes or no then come to edaphic this is your soil factor soil formation its physical and chemical properties and how it is affecting the organisms and the last one is your biotic factor it includes all kind of living organism it may be a plant it may be a animal it may be a microorganism okay these are the biotic factor so i hope you understood if any doubt is there then ask or else you can give some suggestions to improve and thank you for watching have a nice day